Hi everybody, this is Julie Kaylee, broker owner of Merced Homes Realty here in Merced, California. And I wanted to do a HUD video today that is a little bit different than all the other videos that I've done in the past. And this one is really the story of this property, a HUD home that we had listed here in Merced and that we were also able to represent the buyer on. And I just kind of wanted to walk everybody through the process since we list a lot of HUD homes and we do a lot of training on them, I thought it would be good to tell it from um, the buyer's perspective and the buyer's process point of view. So this is actually the house right here. Um, it was located at 1540 East 27th Street right here in Merced. And as you see here on the description, it's a HUD home and um, just talks a little bit about the property and then listed by Julie Cayley, Merced Homes Realty, which that's me. So we put this property on the market and it is uh, or was FHA insurable. There's a better picture of the exterior so you can get a good look at it. And it was an overall, what I would say, average or um, fair, decent, good condition. Um, of course, we expected some little things to come up on it, but overall, like it appeared to be you know, pretty structurally sound with everything being in, um, you know, sort of working order overall. So we had it um, active on the market and we uh, were actively showing it. And then we got a call from a buyer who was interested in purchasing it. So we showed it to them and then they went ahead and they made an offer on the property. And the list price was $250. This particular buyer was using FHA financing, but needed a little bit of help with the closing costs. So they made their offer at $255 and asked for $5,000 in closing costs, which worked out perfectly for um, this property. It appraised just fine, and everything um, proceeded. We got the executed contract with the HUD homes um, and buyers. The buyer is responsible for putting the utilities in their own name so that they can complete the appraisal as well as the inspections. So we assisted the buyer with getting the PG&E on, the city of Merced to turn on the water so those inspections can be completed. So we helped the buyer navigate through that process, got that taken care of, the appraisal came in at value, so we were fine regarding that. But the appraiser did call out some repairs. And so we then had to go through the process of setting up the escrow holdback. And for this property, um, I can show you what the majority of repairs revolved around. Um, again, as you can see, the home is in overall, you know, pretty livable condition. No, you know, major defects that are visible to the eye. Um, the dishwasher was not working. That was one of the items. Um, but the majority of the rest of the items all had to do with this huge patio that was on the back of the property. There were some roofing leak issues and um, some sort of dry rot, exposed wood, those types of things. But I would say about 90% of the issues were dealing with this patio here in the back. So let me see if I can find a better picture. There we go. There's a better picture so you can kind of see like the, the size of the patio. And of course, it was a great selling feature, right? The buyer loved the patio in this backyard. So it really wasn't an option to tear it down. So we had to get some bids for some repairs um, dealing with these issues that came up. And we were able to keep the repair amount under $5,000. So it was um, just under $5,000, which worked out perfectly because it did allow the buyer to finance those repairs into the sale of the home. So there's that bare wood that I was talking about that gets called on an FHA loan as well. So great news is we got the bid, we gave it to the lender, lender closed out the file. Um, then as soon as it closed, we had the contractor come back in, do those repairs on the property, and then um, the buyer was ready to move in. The contractor, the lender had the appraiser go back out, sign off on everything, and then the lender paid the money to the contractor for um, finishing up those repairs. So um, that is kind of the story for this property. A little bit about the buyer. They actually were our Bay Area transplants as well. They came from a much more expensive housing market down to the Merced area where they had some connections and ties and were happy to find a home that was affordable, 
um, livable with just some minor repairs that had to be done for FHA. So we're super excited for our buyers and um, the whole entire process. And so if it's um, something that you're considering on buying when a HUD home pops up, I just kind of walked you through what happens on most of the HUD homes in our area. So I hope you found this information useful. Any questions, give us a call, 209-385-1200. Thank you so much for watching.